hey what's going on um pretty excited today just had something come in uh i've been looking at trying to uh add to my arsenal and it's some budget cinema lenses so it took me a while to figure out which ones i wanted but i want to go over what i bought why i bought them it won't be but a minute i do want to tell you though i don't have any footage because they just came in i will be having some footage soon because i have to shoot a project and i want to show you that footage so if you would be so kind as to go down and subscribe if you haven't already it would help tremendously um, and also you could like this video if you want to because it does help so let's get right down to it um suri t1.2 nightwalker lenses uh, the reason why i bought these one of the reasons why i bought these are because of the form factor um, they're they're small they're compact they're well built you can maybe hear that they're metal um, but again they're compact I'm shooting on a red Komodo so I want I still want to keep that small form factor you know they got some heft to it so when you put it on the camera you do know there's a lens on there uh, it's just not this big giant lens you know of course it looks good if you have a big giant lens but I just prefer to use something a little bit more compact um, the more expensive lenses you can always rent out at any time. These come in at $329 for the 24, 35, and the 55. The 16 and 75, which are new, come in around $399, I believe. But um, they do come in black and gunmetal gray. And again, I choose the black because of consistency. And it is uh, the consistent look across the red Komodo. It's just what I like. Um, 67 millimeter inside thread so keep that in mind when you use your ND filters or any kind of filter um, I use a tilt to mirage matte box fits perfectly on the front no problems whatsoever uh, t1.2 t-stop will I be shooting at t1.2 could be will I do it often probably not should you Probably not. It is pretty soft from what I've seen, but it's still not a deal breaker. The footage looks great. Um, you know, you're going up to the to 2.0 and it starts to work itself out. But it's, again, it's not a deal breaker. For the price, you can't beat it. I'm getting, I bought the 16 to 24 to 35 and the 55. It's like for the price of one lens of most cinema lens packages. I mean, you can go way higher than that. So you're looking at 1200 bucks or so out the door for a set of cinema lenses. So that's, that's one of the reasons why I bought it was price, but also the T1.2, because it's nice to have that if you need to, when you have issues with low light capabilities like I do with the Red Komodo. Um, the focus throw, 270 degree. It's pretty loose, if you can see that. Um, Again, not a deal breaker. Some people just don't like it like that. But when you, I don't know, it's not a deal breaker for me. So, but just to let you know, they are kind of loose. And it's that way across all of them. So, but another consistent thing is that you will find that these match up all the way across the entire set. So the rings match up when you're using a focus puller. You don't have to do any kind of adjustment. You just take the lens off, stick it back on, flip the focus puller back up, and you're ready to rock and roll. So keep that in mind if you're wanting to. I mean, you know, some people don't care. They just make some adjustments. It's fine. But I'm just telling you that these are lined up all the way across. And they, they're just, they're nice. And it's nice to have a set that they're all the same size. So when I put them in my bag, guess what? They all fit nice and snug and... They also, they don't take up a lot of room. So um, other than that, there's not a whole lot of downside. If you want the cap that goes over the top, I don't know what to tell you. They don't have it. They do have these. I mean, it, sometimes it can be a little problem putting them back on, but I haven't really found too much of a problem yet. So um, I like these lenses so far, just the feel of them, the look of them. I'm super excited about getting out and shooting with them. And if you want to see what they produce, or how they work in the field, have a project coming up, please make sure that you subscribe so that you'll be aware of any videos that I have coming out regarding the Suray 2 T1.2 Nightwalker lenses because I really think that you're going to be 
pretty happy with them. So I will leave some links in the description below. You can go check them out if you want to. Decide if you want to buy them. I don't know why you wouldn't get these um, for the price and for the form factor. So check them out. I'll see you in the next video. Why would I sneeze in the middle of this? Why? Ugh. <coughs> <coughs> Mm. All right. Another reason I bought these, and if oh, if you see me, my red, my eyes are red. I just had a sneezing attack. I haven't sneezed all day. I sit down to make a video, and I just start sneezing. Anyway. <laughs>